As more updates came, the path system has become nothing more than a suggestion as to what the character will do and what light cone they will use. A good example is Fushuan having no shields but having the ability to reduce the damage taken and heal your team. From the description alone she sounds more like an abundance character than a preservation one. However, this issue is by far the most obvious with the destruction path, as it has both the best DPS characters and arguably the best tank in the game. So if the path system is essentially useless, how can we make characters feel more unique and try to give them a niche role to fill? Why not use the character's weapon? Let me explain. What if depending on what type of weapon a character is using, they will get a different passive buff that will help differentiate them? For example, characters using short range weapons like swords or fists will have an innate 25% break efficiency buff, as close quarter combat tends to be more brutal than ranged combat. Ranged characters using bows or guns would have an innate 10% crit damage and 5% crit rate buff, due to guns and bows requiring much more skill, dexterity and precision to use efficiently. It would make sense if they dealt crit damage more often and that the critical strikes would deal more damage. Characters using magic or some sort of elemental power would have an innate 15% elemental damage bonus. I mean, it would make sense that characters using elemental powers as their main source of damage would be more skilled in using the elements than other characters. But what would these changes even achieve? Let's take a look at Sushong and Luka. Both are physical damage dealers that scale well with break effect, and coincidentally their weapon type would also give them a more break effect efficiency. Now imagine that a new physical physical damage dealer gets released and they wield a bow. Even if all of the characters are on the same power level, all characters would have their own niche. Luka and Sushang will perform better than the new character but only if they play into their strength, aka break effect. And the new bow wielding character will outperform Luka and Sushang but only if they play into their strengths aka crit dps. The small buff given to characters will not only differentiate them but can also tip the scales just enough to allow characters to stay relevant in their niche. On a side note, this system can also make fights more unique. For example, the server main lieutenant could be changed so that his counter will deal more damage, however, he will only be able to counter physical attacks with swords or fists. He will take reduce the damage from ranged attacks using bows or guns, and his counter stance could be broken if he gets hit with an elemental attack. This will mean that when selecting your team you'll have to think about more than just the element, again helping to create niches for characters to fit. But what do you think about these ideas? Can you think of a way to improve this system? Do you have a different solution to this problem? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. I try my best to get one of those videos out every Friday. If you have any topic you would want me to cover, you can also drop them in the comments below. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed, and until the next one, goodbye.